everybody. Uh, John here with another getting started. And like the last one, this is just a quick little feature to get you started on a new hero. Hopefully one you're going to enjoy. Hopefully one you're going to play a lot of. Uh, but it is by no means the definitive guide to that hero. You're going to need to make your own decisions and, and learn. But this should at least get you past that comfort level, uh, that initial little hurdle to get you into the hero and trying him out. The light of heaven will not extinguish itself. Ah, there you go. And that, my friends, is exactly who we're talking about today. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, also known as the Big Red Bully. Oh man, how I love Diablo. Let's get right into him and uh, see what we can do, because he really is one of my absolute favorite heroes. So, we are going to jump right into picking up the talents. And what I'm going to do for this particular video is I'm going to basically show you all the talents I pick, and then we're going to get into how to actually play him. Uh, so it's going to be a little different from the last one. Um, keep in mind, once again, like with any of these videos, this is not the definitive talent build. You're going to want to look at who you're fighting, who's on your team, and what's going to work best for the situation. But for now, we're going to go ahead and go with this. At level 1, I like to go ahead and take Soul Feast. At level 2, I like to go ahead and take Fire Devil. Level 3, I like to go ahead and take... Man, they changed all his icons and all of a sudden it's, uh, it looks very different, but it's very cool. Uh, I like to take Soul Steel. For my Heroic, I like to take Apocalypse. Now, both... Heroics are pretty good. Apocalypse, at the time of this recording at least, is the current favorite in the meta. It's actually always been my favorite. Um, I enjoy that one quite a bit. Uh, to help increase my damage further, I like to take Firestorm. I like to take Rampage. And then finally, Dying Breath. That's going to be the build we're using just for this particular little video. Uh, I'm also going to remind people once again if that was too fast for you, if you didn't know what I was picking, if that all seemed like an insane thing to do, uh, the talent build is going to be in the notes of this video to check out. Now, let's talk about how to play Diablo. I called him the Big Red Bully, and I called him that for a very good reason. Diablo is very much about bullying the enemy. In fact, that's going to be the main combo that you are going to want to use. Watch how I engage with Arthas. I like to go in with my E, pick him up, knock him to the back line, start dealing damage to him. It's a really aggressive maneuver that immediately puts him on heavy defensive and just encourages immediate retreating. So that's going to be your bread and butter combo with Diablo, is doing an E into a Q, get your fire stomp in there, start body blocking, try to get as many fire waves on there as possible with W if you have it available too. And then always mount up. That's going to be my second big tip with Diablo. You're going to want to be mounted most of the time. Because if you look at this, that little circle around Diablo, that's the radius for his overpower, his E, which is what allows him to lift you, the uh, opponent over his shoulder. You have to be really close for that to hit. So you have to be able to close that distance quick. Now, the other alternative, and you will see some people do this, um, we're going to wait for Arthas to come back out. He's kind of scared at the moment. And that is to actually engage with Q and then go into E. Uh, this is perfectly viable, but understand it moves your position more than it moves your enemy's position. Uh, right now, we just have this Malfurion on our team, so when we pick him up and throw him over our shoulder, it doesn't do us a whole lot of good. But, in theory, if we had a big team... Uh, you know, we could really make some good stuff happen. Um, the body block, as you can see in that little encounter, is pretty easy to do in that combo. Um, so both options are good, whether you're going to close with E and knock them further back, or whether you're going to close with Q 
and lift him up just to get him out of position. Uh, both combos completely viable. And then don't forget, you can always throw down the R. Now, as you can see, that was a total whiff of an ultimate. And that's part of the reason why this particular ultimate with Diablo was not particularly popular for so long, um, is because it is very easy to walk out of. Now, the reason I like it and the reason we take it is because that ultimate will actually trigger underneath any enemy uh, on the team. That includes Nova decoys, lost Vikings, you know, a lot of stuff that sometimes takes up a lot of real estate. Uh, so there's a lot of really cool things you can do with that. Uh, the other thing you'll notice as I'm playing is that I'm doing a lot of body blocking with Diablo. In fact, I got a kill where I locked him down in the corner there. Uh, Diablo's a big, bulky hero, and you're able to really leverage where you stand. It is very easy to trap characters down in the corner like this, especially a dumb computer like Arthas, uh, who just can't get out, um, and he gets stuck in there. Uh, it's a really, really good method to just keep the bullying alive with Diablo. And again, cannot stress enough how important it is to keep that combo going. As you can see, he is just gaining kills left and right. Very, very powerful hero. Uh, let's take a look at his trait real quick because I do think that's important and we haven't talked about it at all. Black Soulstone. Basically, you gain 10 souls per hero killed and 1 soul per minion. For each soul, gain 0.20% maximum health. If you have 100 souls upon dying, you resurrect in 5 seconds and lose 100 souls. So this is a fast way for you to resurrect as Diablo um, and get back in the fight and really, uh, really put the hurt on uh, as needed. So... We'll see if I can get killed. I'm actually I'm at a point in the game where it would actually be very difficult for me to get killed, because um, that's just how tanky and awesome he becomes. He becomes very difficult to kill. Let's uh, let's refresh forts over here. This will get me killed. There we go. So you'll see what will happen is as soon as I die. Now, I lose all those souls, I lose all the benefit of the souls, that was one of the talents triggering which makes my ultimate go off when I die, but I'm already back and already back in the fight. This lets him play even more aggressively in the late game. So those are the big things to keep track of with Diablo, body block. Try to be on your mount as often as possible, he has one of the coolest looking mounts in the game, and bully to your heart's content. You know, really go into it, really hit your opponent, really make them pay for dealing with the Lord of Terror. And that's the other thing uh, to keep in mind with Mr. Diablo. Uh, you are the Lord of Terror. Be aggressive. Be terrifying. Uh, be villainous. So that's a look at Diablo. That's why I like him. Uh, be sure to check out the talent build again. This should get you started with just the basics of playing him. You're going to have to make your own way, have your own path, have your own fun. So until next time, this has been John Jagger from Core, signing out.